here you are at uh, Dubai Mall. Now you see, uh -huh. with 150, yes. now I am planning. It's my first time we have never been out. I'm even scared if that money will be enough. So both of you are single and searching. I wasn't searching. Ah. Uh -uh. So I was searching. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> I wasn't searching. I think he told me if you are serious, mm -hmm. go and see the pastor. evening hoping that you had a good day and your week has been great yes this is couples will show and you know how we do it every friday at 9 45 we gather here and we come to talk about issues concerning marriages and you know how we do it yes i bring you different couples who come to share their experiences their challenges what they have gone through what they have learned and how they are doing it and tonight we are going to do it and tonight it is international i can assure you i don't know where you got your rib from but there's a guy here who realized my rib is not in my motherland yes so we'll be listening to their story soon and you know what 11th of june few days from now we are going to Naivasha. Yes, we are going to Lake Oloiden. We are having a couples retreat hangout. Have you paid for it? If you have not, kindly, there is a number going through your screen. Kindly call that number or you can pay via that number and your seat will be booked. So we'll be meeting at uh, Butter Hilton that is in CBD at 7 a.m. Then we head all the way to Naivasha and then we come back in the evening. But if you want to spend the night there, it is okay. We are having some special arrangements. We are saying Twende Naivasha. And the theme of the day is unlocking the hidden love. And this is the couples will retreat. Episode two. Episode one was on fire. We had a great dinner. And now we are going out there because we care about you and we want you to bond with your spouse. Karibu sana. And tonight, I am hosting a lovely couple. The Omulamas. Omulamas. Omu I am hosting <laughs> the Omulamas. Karibu ni sana. Sante sana. Good to have you here. Thank you thank so you. much. And thank you for coming. Yes, thank you. Kindly, you can introduce yourselves to our viewers. Thank you so much. I'm Mulama, and she's also Mulama. Mm -hmm. We are sharing one name. Yes. Before we had different name. Uh -huh. but now we are the Mulama. But there is that uh, first name. Uh, my first name is Hesbon. Hesbon Omulama. Omulama. Yes. Or you can add also a Shubwe. A Shubwe. A Shubwe. A, oh, a Shubwe. A Shubwe. A Shubwe. A Shubwe means uh, great. Great. Yes. Wow. Yes. And. Uh, and I'm called Florence Namboze. Namboze. Yes. Uh -huh. And now Omulama. Omulama. Oh, thank yes. you. Namboze Omulama. Yes. Always sound like... Uh, eh? Namboze Omulama. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, some people might uh, get confused and, and think Namboze mm -hmm. is from Western. No, I'm not from Western. Uh -huh. I'm from Uganda. From Uganda. From the Kingdom of Buganda. From the Kingdom of Buganda. Yes. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you. It is, it is nice to have you here. Mm. Karibu Nisana. Thank you so much. Thank yes. You. Yes. And so that's the couple I am hosting. We have gone all the way to Uganda. And you know what? For them to be here, they have paid a cost. Because they don't live around they live in dubai that is why i'm saying tonight we are international and so this is couples will show and this is where we write down our love when well, we are alive for we don't want our love story to be read when we are 
gone. And that is why this couple have come to sign. They are lovely. So join us as we listen to their story. And I am your host, Willy Kinyash. I'm a Dr. Love. Na wengine wananiita the undisputed. Let's listen to this story. So guys, yeah. Uganda, Kenya. Where did you meet? Uganda, Kenya. Yes. No, Uganda and Kenya they are just uh, they are neighboring country. Uh, uh-huh. Uh, how did you meet? But we didn't meet in Uganda or in Kenya. But uh-huh. uh, uh, we met in Dubai uh-huh. when we were working there. Yeah. Yes. He was single and I was single. So both of you are single and searching. I wasn't searching. Ah. Uh-huh. I so who was searching? I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't searching. <laughs> yes. So he he has how he met me because mm-hmm. I I only got to know him after he mentioned his intention. Mm-hmm. I wasn't seeing him. I didn't know he existed mm-hmm. until he mentioned his intention, and I'm like, this guy with the way he looks, I think he's playing on my mind. I think he's married in Kenya. He has a wife, and he just wants a girlfriend in Dubai. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is what she was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, if if you have never known today, you have known she's blasting me up. <laughs> uh-huh. Hey, you know, uh-huh. actually she has used the right term. Uh-huh. Uh, she was being searched. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, one, uh, I think I had a desire also to get married. Uh-huh. That was one of my big uh, achievements that I wanted to 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 to, to have. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, I also had a vision and a dream mm-hmm. when I was growing. up, I, I used to tell myself I want to to go beyond my boundaries mm-hmm. because if I'm a lawyer and everybody in the family is marrying a lawyer, a lawyer, a lawyer, a lawyer, mm-hmm. so you know everything will just be lawyers. Mm-hmm. But but I think I, one day I said I I also want to be an, a unique person, uh-huh. and I remember one day I have a friend I really treasure this friend so much. He's mm-hmm. called Joshua Mugo, mm-hmm. engineer Joshua. Mm-hmm. So there was a day we were invited in Uganda mm-hmm. to go and minister. Mm-hmm. That was the year I think 2009. Mm-hmm. They were still in campus. Mm-hmm. Then I didn't know that now is when now God was showing me. But this is now the land you will get someone. Yeah. It was my first foreign land to travel, mm-hmm. Uganda. Mm-hmm. So when I came back, I even forgot about it. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know that the, the place I was ministering mm-hmm. it is actually a home. Mm-hmm. Because Kampala University, it's within the same locality where she comes from. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's not that I didn't try to find someone in Kenya to, to marry to. Mm-hmm. But the, there was no, the, the compatibility was not working. Yeah. So in 2014, I think I was tired mm-hmm. of getting married mm-hmm. because no one was coming to my line. And you were going to say, I'm 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 because I, I remember there was a time we, I was dating a lady from my, my university mm-hmm. and we said, let us go for an outing. Mm-hmm. So we opted to go to Aboretum. Yeah. And you know what? Uh-huh. I carried a Bible. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I was in a suit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I dressed in a suit. Uh-huh. I remember a, a brown suit. Uh-huh. And we went to town. Uh-huh. We, we, I bought snacks, uh, mandazi, njugu. You are then, going for a date. Uh, you know, I didn't. I, I, I think I didn't have enough knowledge. Yeah. And uh, I was told, well, uh, I remember <laughs> the last <laughs> word and Sema, Ukochini. I was Boga. So, uh, and then I asked God, with all the knowledge I'm having, mm-hmm. Kwani, Mr. Nigani, mm-hmm. then I gave up. Yeah. And now when I landed to, to Dubai, that was, I uh, <coughs> think, let. 2015, mm-hmm. 2015, mm-hmm. and I was not going to look for a wife, mm-hmm. but when I landed, I felt something special in me. Mm-hmm. I just told God, 
I think I'll get a wife here, get a job here, I'll excel here. Mm -hmm. I have to I have to change my my village now to something different. Yeah. And uh, little did I know that where I was residing, mm -hmm. it we, actually she was a neighbor. Mm -hmm. For the all that period I was in, living in Dubai, mm -hmm. I was following her in the spirit and I didn't know. And there was a time I marked her. Mm. Now when we were ending 2015, I saw her, mm. but she didn't see me. Mm. But I didn't say anything. Then I remarked her picture in my mind. And I said, God, that girl is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Only that. Mm -hmm. And then the, to, to make things worse, mm -hmm. we even began attending the same church. Oh. Yes, to me it's like, what a coincident, you mm -hmm. know, like, mm -hmm. uh, what a coincident mm -hmm. that now, I, then I even forgot about it. Mm -hmm. But 20, which year, 20? 2016. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is the year now mm -hmm. I began seeing her. Mm -hmm. When you are going home, we board in the same bus. When you have been dropped, home from church. yes, some, yeah. and then now uh, we realize that we'll be stopped in the same bus stop. Mm -hmm. Then she cross, I cross. Then now you know I don't know even what to say, but she has crossed. You have not even yes. asked for a uh, uh, phone number. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But one day, mm -hmm. I went to the pastor, the bishop, uh -huh. even without telling her anything. Mm -hmm. I told bishop, I've seen a lady in this church. But I feel she's my rib. Mm -hmm. Then he asked me, have you talked to her? No, I even don't know her. Mm -hmm. Can you trace her? I say, yes, I can spot her. Mm -hmm. Then I even how we did introduction, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It was I just a coincidence. The story went from hmm? there. Then the yeah. story. Let's, let's hear from her. Not remembering. <laughs> yes, let's, let's hear from her. Okay, Ladies are good in keeping records. Yes. <laughs> I went to Dubai 2014, mm -hmm. and in my mind, I'm like, marriage is like when I make 35 there, I'm not thinking. And in me, mm -hmm. I knew I wanted to marry a white guy. A white guy? Yes. Who Everybody at what? home was calling me a wife to a white guy. See God. <laughs> so, we, we, in the church where mm -hmm. we go to, it's a very big church in Dubai. Mm -hmm. It's called King's Revival Church. It's a very good church. Mm -hmm. they, Can I look at you? <laughs> <laughs> So okay. from that time when I joined church, I'm a person who relates with pastors. I like talking to them. Mm -hmm. So we used to go for singles meetings. Mm -hmm. And then when I went, mm -hmm. I, we keep going. He never attended any of those. Mm -hmm. So I used to go and there are brothers there. I see them and I'm like, when it comes to introduction, I'm like, brothers, don't bother looking at me. I'm marrying a white I know. Like, mm -hmm. this is me. This is my dream. Mm -hmm. And then after attending many, one of the pastors, he's called Pastor James. Mm -hmm. He told me, but Florence, who told you you will marry a white? And I'm like, hey, Pastor, you've started on me. I'm like, me, I know. Then after he has just talked to me, like as you interact with people, mm -hmm. another pastor, he's called Pastor Disho. They are right now in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Then Pastor Disho is like, you know, I see God is giving you something and you're rejecting. And that time he said that, I'm like, what, what am I rejecting? My mind goes to like, you're supposed to be getting a job mm -hmm. to shift from this company to another, mm -hmm. and you're not applying. So I'm like, oh, I'll start applying for jobs. I'm not thinking husband, because my mind is not yet there. Mm -hmm. In my calculation, I'm like, I'll get married around 35 after I've enjoyed my singleness. 35? Yes, mm -hmm. that is the ideal yes. for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm like, okay. And after he told me, and then I'm like, but then he's like, and why you don't want uh, African brothers? I'm like, pastor, me, I want a white. He's like, now, you know, God can be so nice. He wants to give you something personalized. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, huh, personalized. Then he brought it to cars. Maybe you want like, uh, and he wants to give you a BMW. I'm like, pastor, you've started. Then we left it at that. Mm -hmm. And after like two weeks from that, he, we were from church. Then that's when he's telling me, um, can I have your number? Mm -hmm. I'm like, 
this guy, the way he looks, he can't be single. <laughs> he didn't look single to me. I'm like, yeah, this ones, they're the ones who have boys but back home. I only and ask they... for the number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even... <laughs> My number was not for just airing out because I knew where it, it leads to if you give a number, what happens next. And then, yeah. And I wasn't for that. And yeah. the fact that we go to the same church yeah. is not somebody you'll be playing mm -hmm. around with, like, okay, just to take his money or something like that. Mm -hmm. And we were born against him. Like, ah, better I don't give you my number. Mm -hmm. So we, we kill it at the start mm -hmm. before we start. And then I'm playing your mind. Yeah. So, so from then, do you know you how, do you know, how you got do you the know, number? Do you know how she or gave me a number? Uh -huh. <laughs> I told her this way. Give me a number and you have all the options. Yeah. If I call you those hours that you don't like, mm -hmm. Or if I text you what you don't like, mm -hmm. you have all the option to delete, first to block me mm -hmm. and to remove it from the phone book. Because mm -hmm. once you do that, I'll be, I won't be able to reach to you. Mm -hmm. Then she gave me a number and I was, what time should I call her? Then I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Then I praise the Lord. <laughs> it's, it's, she's not answering. She's not responding. She's Even like, in then? I praise the Lord. <laughs> Then I was like, in the office, uh -huh. I don't want to chat at night. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm looking those hours that are, are friendly. Yes. Between 12 yeah. and 2. Yes. Then, like, praise the Lord. So I think she responded only once. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh my God, you have answered my prayer. Yeah. Then I don't know, I asked her, uh, when do you think we can just meet? Just meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, we just take tea and why, why, for, why, uh, you say, uh, just a request. We are born again yeah, from one child. Mm -hmm. Then eventually she said yes. Mm -hmm. And I remember she had, we agreed we meet in the evening mm -hmm. and I didn't have money. Mm -hmm. So I talked to my colleague in the office. Mm -hmm. Hey, I think uh, there's someone special I'm meeting this evening. Mm -hmm. The guy was a Filipino. You, wow, he was so excited. Mm -hmm. So, so how, how can I help you? I need some money. Mm -hmm. So he gave me 150 dirham. And he said, don't even return. Wow. If, it is, if you are meeting someone special, mm -hmm. take the money. So he gave me 150. Mm -hmm. So all the way to Dubai Mall. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was my first time to go to Dubai Mall. I used to hear That's Dubai Mall. That's where I work. So he mm -hmm. picked me from work for uh -huh. that date. Mm -hmm. Can I cut you short? Uh -huh. and, and for going for that date, you mm -hmm. know, it was towards the end of the month, you, that week, like the last week to salary. Yeah. So I'm like, ah, I feel I want to eat out like pizza and then I don't have money. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this he's requesting too much to meet, to talk, mm -hmm. and I'm ignoring him. So that's why I replied back. Mm -hmm. Sorry for being mean. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, since I don't want to eat food I have home and I want to go out and eat something nice, let mm -hmm. me accept his offer for a debt. Yeah. But I'm like, there was zero interest. I'm like, I'm just going to eat food. Mm -hmm. I'm like, let me go enjoy that date. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he came to the Dubai mall. That was his was first scared. time to come. Mm -hmm. So scared. he's asking for directions. And I'm like, everybody Imagine. knows Dubai mall. How yes. come he don't know? Mm -hmm. Then I went to the entrance with my friend. Mm -hmm. She came with her friend to scare my me My best again. friend. Yes. No, like my best friend was coming to laugh at this guy. <laughs> Who is insisting is not reading the lines that is not being wanted. And the moment we saw him, we were like, really serious, we laughed. Yes. And I'm like, but like, you know, when you're born again, there's that rebuke from the Holy Spirit. Yes. So the moment I laughed, I felt bad in me, like very bad. And I was like, you're laughing why at did I laugh? <laughs> <laughs> really, it was so strong. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. and I, like, why did I laugh? Mm -hmm. Okay, like when you're friends, there are those things you laugh about. Yeah, yeah. You're like, it's in you, mm -hmm. your girls, you laugh. There mm -hmm. are things that just, when you just, you don't even say a word. Yeah. But you're laughing and it's the same thing and it's a joke to you. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Like when, when we look, it was a joke for us. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't a bad thing. We were just being girls. Yeah. But I felt the rebuking me. Mm -hmm. So then. Mm -hmm. Then. Continue. Here you are at uh, Dubai Mall. Now you see, uh -huh. with 150, yes. now I am planning. Uh -huh. It's my first time we have ever been out. I'm even scared if that money will be enough. Uh -huh. 
So I calculated. Mm -hmm. Say from here to Dubai Mall, I have money in my card. Mm -hmm. That is there. But now the question is, we cannot use the train, mm -hmm. metro, mm -hmm. because now you see I have to compose myself to show that I'm a gentleman. Mm -hmm. So I took a taxi. Mm -hmm. And you oh, see, yeah. from Dubai Mall, <laughs> from Dubai Mall, taxis are a bit expensive. Uh -huh. I think the uh, minimum is 12 dirham. Minimum is 12. 12. Mm -hmm. 12, 12, when you convert to Kenya, it's good money. Mm -hmm. So now I say now, I'll, I'll cut 12 from this. Now, uh, from 150. From 150. Yes. And again, after the, the, the dinner, I have to facilitate how she'll go home. Yeah. So I had said I will take her to KFC. Mm -hmm. Because to me, I knew KFC is big. Yeah. My friend, we went there. She told me, this is not my class. I ah. said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hey. Okay. KFC. Like eh? just like he told you, he does he didn't know anything about dating or taking girls out. Yes. He had a bad choice uh -huh. because KFC uh -huh. is a place for like okay the food is nice uh -huh. but for a date yeah people are walking around you yes. will not have a conversation. Yes. So me I'm thinking I need this date to hear you out and block you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm KFC. like, when he's like, what should we have? Uh, I looked around, people are coming in, you know, it's more deliveries. Yes. And then the, the sitting arrangement is not comfortable. Mm. So me being a person who likes nice things, mm -hmm. it's in me. Yeah. I, I you don't can deny. imagine 2015 mm. KFC in Kenya. <laughs> You can just imagine KFC. <laughs> that is 2016, honey. So 2016. And he's taking me to KFC. And there are other... Where he took me, it's financial center from Dubai Mall to financial center. I think we spent like 17 or 15. You know, it was, my, it, it was my first outing. Mm -hmm. So you see, it can even tell mm -hmm. I was not good in, even, uh, in outings. Mm -hmm. I was learning. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so you can say this guy was uh, somehow... You know, you are, you are now coming into the real world. Mm -hmm. At least she had a, 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 like two years of experience in Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, myself, I was now finishing one year. Yeah. So now I was in. I to me, I thought KFC is it's the best. A big thing. But surprisingly, uh, we 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 entered. I uh, just looked at her reaction. She was like, "Okay, okay." Then she said, "No, I don't think." She said, "Okay, no problem." Mm -hmm. Then now we walked. She took me somewhere. I think this a hut. Then I was like, "Oh my God, we like it's my It's very nice. Mm -hmm. It's then comfortable. Uh, you have a table for two, and it's sofas. It's mm -hmm. comfy. I so for, you sit, you eat nice. I and asked, you have a conversation. asked for menu. <laughs> I took some good minutes to looking at the menu. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so you're wondering. <laughs> then I thought she'll say something above a hundred dirham. <laughs> but I, then we, we found something at no, the friendly. Thing, the thing is, I, I didn't have money. So I know if you risk taking a, an outing and mm -hmm. you don't have money, mm -hmm. so you need to be in the price range yes. that is affordable. Yeah. Like if you're stuck, you can call somebody to come and help you pay. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, okay, if he fails, who would I call to help clear the bill? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, we read, we read the menu. Yes. And then I'm like, okay, if we have one pizza for this amount and then drinks see so we can share the pizza mm -hmm. so i'm like okay so then the pig, i i suggest the mm -hmm. big one he at a law mm -hmm. then i looked i say now if it's 70 at least i have around 40. Mm -hmm. uh, from here to home we'll use around five dirham i still have money i say let it come so for you, all my, this time, as uh, uh, you're doing orders, you're doing my, my some calculations. <laughs> <laughs> but now when we were after the meals, because we are going to the same direction, I say, why don't we stretch? Ah. Uh, we stretch, we stretch. <laughs> <laughs> and we stretch, we stretch. And then I allowed her to go home. Uh -huh. But I didn't say that. I, I didn't, I didn't uh, announce my int. My uh, my interest. my interest to her, mm -hmm. but later I tried, and then she told me, "Hey, no, 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 mm -hmm. no, 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 no." Hey. So that day you just had uh, hey. an open okay. talk. We had an open talk, but mm -hmm. remember me, I had had a rebuke from when I was in the mall. Yes. So when we sat to eat, he's talking. We're talking about our families, where we've come from. I I got to see we have a lot in common, mm -hmm. and. 
I found myself like starting to like him. Like, like oh, I opened up. You didn't tell me. Of course, you don't say those things. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like, in me, I started opening up, being free with him. But he doesn't know. He still, I still had that strictness on him because I'm like, okay, you're nice. I see this nice in you, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure where you're coming from home because mm -hmm. many people were having families back home and mm -hmm. then they're having girlfriends in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So I, my mind was like. Maybe there's someone you left pregnant somewhere and you're not taking care of them and then you want another one. And yeah. I'm like, me, I'm not for that. Mm -hmm. So I was being harsh on him, but mm -hmm. I listened. Mm -hmm. And when you listen, mm -hmm. there are things in you that change without you noticing, like, directly that something has changed. Mm -hmm. But, like, in me, I started softening for him because mm -hmm. before I was like, huh. I have to put my guard way up there that yes. you cannot come to my heart because mm -hmm. it's easy to come into somebody's heart and then you just break them up. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey, I'm still looking at you, but it like the guard was high, then it's that's going down mm -hmm. to where a level where he could climb, then he can go on how he he came into my heart. Actually, as we can't say if we dated or we we did the courtship mm -hmm. because after the long after that conversation. We, we didn't propose to one another. That but is the, the first date. Yeah, first and day. even later, mm -hmm. because any time I, I wanted to access her, mm -hmm. she was a bit rigid in a way that I, I was not understanding. Mm -hmm. Until I said, I think she told me, if you are serious, mm -hmm. go and see the pastor. We go and see the we pastor. We see the pastor. And you, you, had, you, you had already talked to pastor. No. No, yeah, before you had you... said that yes, there yes. is a girl. I'm yes, seeing. I had told already the pastor, <clears throat> mm -hmm. but I was not sure. So when I told her now, mm -hmm. we meet with the pastor. You know, pastor was like, okay. Uh, I think we proposed to one another in the presence of the pastor. Yeah, for him, the pastor thought we already agreed. Mm -mm. But we went to the pastor to tell him, okay, he has said he likes me. And then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm hearing him out. So that's why we went to the pastor. It's not like we went because we were ready for marriage or anything. We just went like, for me, it was a way of cutting him short, like thinking, mm -hmm. if I say, let's go to the pastor, he will shy away and just leave me. Mm -hmm. So at that moment, that's what I thought. Because we went to the pastor at the very early stage of, mm -hmm. the, of the whole thing. So yeah. you proposed? Yes, it's, you know, it's in, not like in, proposal. In Chris, in, in, where I fellowship in Crisco, <laughs> we are taught, our pastor has taught us one thing. If you spot a lady, mm -hmm. the moment if you spot a lady, greet the lady, don't say anything. Uh, if, he's a, if she can give you the number well and good, but don't take another step before approaching your pastor. So she didn't know even myself, I had some foundation, yeah. which I was, uh, I was behaving like I'm not born again. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, those people... But she didn't know that this is a minister from Kenya. Mm -hmm. But she didn't have a background mm -hmm. in salvation. Yeah. So I was trying to do to go as per my bishop's uh, instruction. Mm -hmm. So she didn't know. Mm -hmm. So by the time we were reaching to a bishop in Dubai, mm -hmm. he asked us, have you seen anyone? I said, no. She was asked the same thing. Mm -hmm. Then she was asked, Initially, she had refused even before the pastor. Mm -hmm. Pastor asked, are you okay with this man? He said, Daddy, you know, I wanted to get married by a white. Then I was like, God, I am completely finished. She confessed that before me. Mm -hmm. Say, God, will it work? Mm -hmm. Say, white, I'm black. <laughs> and I know whites, whites are romantic. <coughs> Uh -huh. And uh, in terms of giving and investment, they are good. Uh -huh. Then I looked at my background and I said, God, did I choose the right person or what? Uh -huh. And then Pastor, uh -huh. I remember Pastor giving her a revelation. Uh -huh. Say, you know, you can be white physically, mm -hmm. but, but this inside. man can be black, uh -huh. but inside is yes. a white. Yes. Yeah, he told me that. That's what she right. said. I think he, I said, God. You have answered my prayer. Uh -huh. And we began classes for... Primadito yeah, immediate, classes? Immediately. Yes. Ah. Before we get to know each other or anything, we are not it's like wow. we're already having yeah. counseling and then we're getting to know each other. Wow. Like it's, it's running at a best <laughs> I didn't expect or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We didn't that, we didn't court. Mm -hmm. But someone guided us yeah. how yeah. to do it. Mm -hmm. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Yes. Wow, and then after that? We got married. We, we got married. We set a date. 
He we actually, we set a date that day. That very day. That very day. He asked, what do you think? I said, I think... Did I say April? Yeah, it was April. I said, I, I said God, I told Pastor April. He was ask April. Pastor said, I think also April. And he wrote it down. He passed an hour? Passed and he prayed about, over it. Mm -hmm. And you know, it was something new to us mm -hmm. because we have not thought of, you know, I've, I've witnessed how people they are doing uh, dating. Mm. They, they, they begin courting, mm -hmm. they do the ratio, yeah. they, they bring their, their, their funding together, mm -hmm. they, they budget together. Mm -hmm. To us, it was, there was nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But when she told me she wants, if I'm marrying her, she wants an imported dress from, I don't know, UK or, and we are in Dubai. Yes. She want, and then she wants another, I do, an import. So I was imagining another, another good man of spending. Mm -hmm. But the Lord gave me wisdom, and he said, don't worry, I'll provide, mm -hmm. provide, I'll provide. Mm -hmm. Until now she came to my box. Wow. And uh, we finally got married. Mm -hmm. I always say <coughs> I didn't, we didn't go even for a year. Mm -hmm. Did we go even for a year? We didn't go for a year. Mm -hmm. No. Wow. We didn't go for a year, mm -hmm. because that year it was mid. Was it mid? Mm -hmm. It was mid, mid 2016. Mm -hmm. It was mid. 2017th, June. We got married in May. May. We had closed May the 7th. deal. That is in 2017. Mm. Yeah. Wow. We are having an amazing conversation here. This lady, in her mind, she knew I'll get married to a white guy. She comes from Uganda and she, she, had, she has made up her mind. If there's a man that will come into my life, this man must be a white man, period. Then, who is God? Today, she is married to a Kenyan man. Not just a Kenyan man, but from Ruya land, I am hosting the Omu Lamas. Omu? Omu, Omu Lamas. Omu Lamas. <laughs> and they are having an interesting story. Mm. And I remind you that on 11th of June, we are going to Naivasha. We are having couples retreat. Episode 2, couples will retreat. Episode 2, it will be happening on 11th of June at Lake Oloiden in Naivasha. Have you booked your seat? Kindly, if you have not, book your seat right now there's a number on the screen kindly call that number or you can pay uh, via that number and your seat will be booked the theme of the day will be unlocking the hidden love there will be a lot of fun a lot of food and of course fellowship there'll be a lot of learning so come let us learn together and also come and bond with your spouse see you take that number and Hey, now, to end Naivasha Lake Oloiden. Back to our story. Yes. Uh, now the pastor is aware because mm -hmm. it's like you have proposed uh, before this man of God. Mm. How or when did you now go to break the news to the parents? Uh. I think it was uh, when when pastor confirmed, I think it was, I think July or August, because December, I mean October, October, during my birthday, mm -hmm. I was chatting with my mom, and one of the things she said, I want you to, one of your goals is to get married. This is your mother? Yes. <laughs> we are chatting. <laughs> and I say, mom, I want to break the news to you. Mm -hmm. I have someone. Wow. From where? From Uganda. Then I send her photos, photos, photos. This one looks good. Yeah, your, your mother said yeah. that. Mm -hmm. This one looks good. So any plans? Mom, we are getting married April next year. <laughs> ah, you have said the date and yeah. even the parents yeah. have not seen the girl. We are, we are yeah. getting married next year, April. <laughs> Then I also called my bishop, 
called Bishop Mugano. No, from Kenya. Yes, whom I really respect. Because mm -hmm. you see, this is an international wedding. Mm -hmm. We have to connect everything together. Yes. Then, you know, he's a very strict man. Mm -hmm. Very strict man. Mm -hmm. Very strict. Mm -hmm. And I know he'll be watching this. Yes. But I keep repeating. Uh, he's a very D uh -huh. is a very strict man. Yes. But when I gave the report out, I was asking God, how will I? Mm -hmm. Said that uh, I have seen someone here. Uh -huh. uh, I think uh, then, okay, tell me, tell me. He's from Uganda, uh, blah, blah, blah. Then the thing that helped me, I told him, Daddy, I didn't start it on my own. I went to see Bishop Limo, mm -hmm. who has been taking, ah, that is good. Now mm -hmm. you and my son, now you are talking. Yes. So how long have you known this girl? Mm -hmm. Say, Dad, I think just the other day, <laughs> but with the confirmation <laughs> of uh, Bishop Limo. Uh -huh. And then he told me, give me some time I pray, uh -huh. three days. Mm -hmm. Then he came back to me, say, the Lord has said she's the one. Wow. Then it began immediately. Uh -huh. So we were doing counseling, mm -hmm. uh, Dubai, the same time we were doing counseling in, uh -huh. in, in Kenya. Kenya. As you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. We were not meeting together. Skype. Mm -hmm. She's uh -huh. in her home. Yes. I'm in the office. Yes. But we are doing the three screens together. Wow. For almost one hour. Every, almost uh, weekly. We are, we are doing weekly. Uh -huh. And he followed, he followed, he followed. Mm -hmm. Until now he said, I think you guys should now, you, you should now start preparing. Mm -hmm. Within a month they say, I have released you. Wow. So sometimes he could call alone, they talk. Mm -hmm. Time. Then he asked me, what is the purpose of marrying? Mm -hmm. I said, God, I don't know the purpose, but I have the desire. Mm -hmm. I feel she's meant for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had not even visited in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And Uganda, the people are also excited. Mm -hmm. So we were planning to visit Uganda twice. Mm -hmm. But I'm still calculating in my mind. Mm -hmm. And... We reached a point there were big challenges mm -hmm. because even now she really wanted to get married. Mm -hmm. But I didn't propose her. Mm -hmm. So she was on my neck. Mm -hmm. Until her sister and the best friend, we became enemies. Because they were asking, why is the engagement ring? Yeah. Uh, we were preparing a wedding and I don't have an engagement ring. No, I have let, his word. <laughs> yes. I'm believing his word. You know, like, if you tell me something and, and it has clicked in me, it mm -hmm. has clicked. Mm -hmm. So, like, I was... Now I had fallen on the hook, so I was trapped. There, and now, then, uh, maybe before we even get there, how yeah. did you break the news to your parents? Uh, I have okay. this guy from Kenya. Okay, I, I don't have parents, they passed on, but oh, I have sorry. guardians and relatives and aunties and uncles, so many. Mm -hmm. So, but there's the particular one who is being more of the guardian, the mm -hmm. one like who is really interested mm -hmm. with, with, with my life. Mm -hmm. So she's the one I broke the message to, mm -hmm. and I send her the photos, I tell her, and she's like, Flo, are you sure? She calls me Flo. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to marry this guy? Because you said you're marrying a white. I'm like, yeah, ah. we've been going through the counseling. Yeah, they called me, they used to call me then, a wife to a white guy. So everyone knew that yes. you married it's a white. Like, it's in Luganda, you say, Mchala wa mzung, like a wife to a white. Uh -huh. So like... Mchala wa mzu? Mzung. Mzung. Yes, so uh -huh. like when you dress up and you look nice, like, oh, that's it. Mchala wa mzung. Yes. Uh -huh. So she was shocked. I'm bringing and he's like, ah, oh, Kenyans, will you manage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's like, will you manage? So she's very close to my heart. Mm -hmm. She's called Auntie Agnes. I love her so much. So she's like, um, okay, but are you sure? You in your heart you feel this is the one you want him. And she asked so many questions like to confirm if I was for it. Mm -hmm. Then she's like, me if you're for it, I'm for it. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want in life, I'm mm -hmm. for it. Wow. I'm like okay. Mm -hmm. So she was the the force behind everything. The mm -hmm. moment she she clicked with it, mm -hmm. then there was no hassle. Wow. Everybody else just comes in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Hey, you know, uh, let me say, I was kind of a man, you see, like disgusting. Horrible. You know, African men, how, Kenyan especially. It's not disgusting. Me, myself. <laughs> but you see, w w when it reached to a point, someone calls you, you know, they are with their friend and they are gossiping. 
look at this man i was imagining is he a monkey <laughs> Eh? You see a monkey. Then I was like, I'm just from Kenya. <laughs> Kenya, it has not worked out. Eh? So, the first they say, situation <laughs> boga. <laughs> now I want to try again a good luck here. Yes. And uh, um, you know, I, I sensed when I met the, the, the lady whom she's saying, it's, she's called Betty. Uh -huh. Betty was sitting somewhere. Uh -huh. In fact, Betty came first. Uh -huh. Betty was sent to come and to and analyze, to analyze oh, me. To analyze you. Then, when I looked at Betty, I just, my, my spirit says, I say, this girl, she's not here to receive me. Uh -huh. She has come to see who is this man. Yeah. I would say, God. But she's a very good friend, and <laughs> she's the one who stood with him in line as, wow. her, as his sister from Kenya. She scared when me. When they came to for oh, the she's rush. a Kenyan. No, she's, she's from Uganda. Uganda. Okay, okay. And she works in Dubai with us. Yes. So she's the one who stood in line with him as his sister yes. when they came to pick me from. Even her. before coming so compatible with Betty. <laughs> It took it the hand time. of God. Eh? Because it took the I grace see, of God. You see, before even I met her, eh? met to, you know, Dubai, there are good places where you can sit. Mm -hmm. So they told me to go in a particular place. Mm -hmm. And the person I found waiting eh? was Betty. Yes. Say, God. See, we know these things. Eh? Say, God, Betty, this girl has been sent to analyze. Eh? And I'm very sure after this, this the, 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 the dinner, eh? They will go and analyze how mm. I was looking and of start course. discussing me. Uh, of course. Uh, but you see, I, I always thank God for one reason. Mm. I know myself. Mm. You know, like how God took our shame. Mm. Hmm? Mm. I, I think uh, this was a defining moment for me. Mm. And that's the reason why I was saying, mm. you know, the meaning of disgusting, you know. Have you, ever some, have you ever had someone calling you, you are so disgusting, yeah. you are so horrible, mm -hmm. you are so pineapple, mm -hmm. you are so cassava. Yeah. You see, you are, you are, you are related to, to plants, to animals, mm -hmm. because they don't see anything good in you. Mm -hmm. As the Bible says, in, when you read it, when in, in the book of John 1, mm -hmm. when you read from 40 going mm -hmm. onward, mm -hmm. when uh, Philip is telling Nathaniel about can anything good <laughs> Come from, uh, come from Nazareth. Nazareth. Mm. And then he's saying, come and see. You see those revelations, now they are coming. Yes. And when I looked at her in, at the first point, mm -hmm. I saw her as a, someone who is very special. Mm -hmm. And my league, mm -hmm. you know, like Vila Atonasema, where Ligiaku is Kochini. I knew physically Ligiaku is Kochini. Ziga is a Kumane. Kini in Dani. Dani. Iko Ju. Iko Ju. Praise be to God. That's why I didn't have mystery. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, I just used the same principle uh -huh. that Mimi ni meokoka. Uh -huh. Na kama we ni wangu. Uh -huh. Ni wangu tu. Uh -huh. Kama we si wangu. Si wangu. Singangani na wewe. Uh -huh. Si yezi bishana. So, ile, ile, ile mambo watu, how people they always do, once they are in a relationship, they want to spend their money, mm -hmm. they want to go for all outing, those mm -hmm. nasty outing. Mm -hmm. I remember we only did one outing <laughs> at the Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. The rest was history. Ah, yes. Yeah, he took me for one outing. Once. Just one? Yeah. yeah. No, like, I told you when we talked, mm -hmm. I saw sense in him. I saw something mm -hmm. that I had not met. Mm -hmm. So in me, mm -hmm. there is that confirmation that happened. So like, okay, I'll go with his pace, whatever mm -hmm. he's saying. I'm mm -hmm. listening. But... It wasn't like, okay, I've had you and then now we will be married. No. Mm -hmm. But there is that, like you become friends. So mm -hmm. I, I became okay with him. Mm -hmm. So now when he brought the idea, he brought it. I didn't suggest or anything. When he brought the idea of like, now how about we get married? And then I'm like, okay, we can see the pastor. Mm -hmm. But then now me that seeing the pastor, I know when we take it before the pastor, mm. we're taking it before the Lord. Mm. The pastor will pray, I will pray. Mm. If it's not meant to be, it will break. So mm. Mm. we've not had anything uh, connecting us. So mm. if it's not meant to be, mm. we've taken it at the early stage. It will break and then I'll be okay. He will be okay. Mm. Since we go to the same church, mm. we can still be greeting each other. Mm. And there won't be anything complicated. So that's why I was suggesting we go to the pastor. And then he was also coming with the same idea. Let's go to the pastor. Wow. So we like in we met halfway. Fact, in then. fact, before the pastor, I just told the pastor, I want to marry this lady. Not caught. 
Yeah, he didn't say mm -mm. we want to date or you want to call. I will marry you. He's like, I want, I will marry this she woman. She was shocked. And I'm like, <laughs> we are just coming to introduce it <laughs> yeah. to be prayed for if it's 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 the will of God or if it's not. And then you're, you're already saying, like, I have accepted and you've not even proposed. So I'm looking at him and I'm like, okay, I will find a way to break it out. No need to fight. And you, and you know, when I was, introducing, I was introducing this story to pastor, he was in a phone call. Mm -hmm. He was doing counseling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so th there were couples who had actually, uh, they, had, they were actually that Friday they, were, they, had, they had fought. Mm -hmm. So one was calling pastor saying, mm -hmm. pastor, things are not working, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm at the back. I, want, I also want to talk to pastor. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Then the, immediately he finished the call. He was, this family, I don't know what I will do. When they are living good, they are not calling me. When things are not working, now they call me. <laughs> then I was like, oh my God. Uh -huh. Then now I'm telling daddy, I have a lady I want to. I think I need. Then I then was like, say, okay, son, tell me, tell me, tell Another me. One. Tell me. Uh -huh. say, no, he but, was happy because he, he, I remember he said, uh -huh. uh, good, you bring it now before you, you, you mess things up and then you come to me. Yes. Good to come in the beginning. So yes. he was happy. Yes. And then at the end he told us, you are Sister Florence. He's very strict. We have strict fathers. <laughs> you know, he, he so didn't he, even know me well. He's mm -hmm. like, you are Sister Florence. You are Brother Hesbon. This is not marriage. I'm not conducting a marriage. Don't mm -hmm. live here and say you, you're going to you're, one you're bed married. and then you're saying you yes. went to pastor, we are married. Mm -hmm. You're not married. Your yes. sister, your brother. Wow. Okay? Until mm -hmm. that day you say I do. Wow. He's very strict. Wow. Daddy Limo. <laughs> hey, but you see, you, see, you see about the ring here. Mm -hmm. This one, she was she was almost to. Hey, she was like, I, I'm doubting this relationship. Yeah. We know you have already done everything. We introduction, have told parents. home, but she's you have not done the. Not introduction. When you the, say introduction, people in Uganda will not understand it. See, I okay, was like, doing I was doing it digitally because okay, <laughs> like through one. the messages and what mm -hmm. we people know we are getting married, but mm -hmm. I don't have an engagement ring, and the date is set for the wedding. Mm -hmm. And then I have to fly to Uganda, go prepare. I mm -hmm. don't have an engagement ring. Mm -hmm. And then I'm waiting for him. Mm -hmm. she was so saying... I'm, like my flight is in the morning mm -hmm. at night. I don't have a ring. <laughs> I'm wondering. I don't have engagement. And then that it was a good Friday when he gave me the engagement ring. So like in the morning before I go say goodbye, <laughs> we're going. Then he calls me to their kitchen where he stays. He's like, because people were, were busy there. Then he's like, okay. I don't like those things of proposing before people and Tiju is showing off. Come here, I tell you something. So I went. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Me, I'm, I'm thinking maybe he's breaking it off. And I'm like, okay, no, not much harm is done. We can recover from this. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking about my well-being. Then he's like, you know, then he starts praying. I'm like, hey. When I accepted, I didn't know he's into prayer uh -huh. until I, I accepted. And he tells me he's an evangelist from Kenya. And I'm like, hey, his life in a poor high. Uh -huh. He's married to a pastor <laughs> and all those things. Uh -huh. So I'm like, hey. And the way he was so prayerful that day, I'm uh -huh. like, so you mean uh, now? Like, he's not. <laughs> See, now I'm used to that. You know, like then we are, we are single people. You're like, it's not, you're not seeing people that they are prayerful. Yes. Now I'm used to you. I know okay, yeah. this is how we should be. Yeah. But then I'm like, eh, this guy is too prayerful. He called me in the kitchen to pray for me because I'm flying out. So he prays for me. I'm flying out. He's praying for me. He like, have a safe flight, what, what. And then he's like, good, I thank you. This is my wife. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm your wife, but I, I, I don't have even anything to show. You know, I mean, they, they propose to you, you have a ring, you're yeah. posting. And yeah. I don't have those things. Mm -hmm. So, and then after he takes it out, he's like, I will put this mark on you as a promise. I will come <laughs> and to Uganda. Okay. Yes, wow. I was engaged in the middle of a prayer. <laughs> yes. I was engaged in the middle of a prayer. <laughs> Actually, everything uh, <laughs> everything he does, he usually starts with prayer. Uh -huh. Yes, he will start with prayer and then he will do whatever he's going to do. So he engaged me and I'm like, give me your hand, give me your hand. Then he's, he's praying and then he's like, give me your hand. I'm like, okay. 
which hand? Mm -hmm. And he's asking me, mm -hmm. which hand do they put the ring? <laughs> <laughs> which finger? And I'm like, eh, my brother, you don't know these things. And then I tell him, I told him this one. So he put the ring, and then I'm like, eh, okay. And then we are still praying, by the way. Mm -hmm. We're still praying. Mm -hmm. And he's praying, God, as this is Good Friday, may the resurrection of Jesus be in our marriage. Wow. He's quoting scripture, and I'm like, eh. Yes. <laughs> So um, after yeah. we say the amen, amen, but it was a good Friday, so I can't forget. Because there were no people to witness, mm -hmm. we were just in the kitchen, two of us, and we were praying. Mm -hmm. So when people hear you praying, they won't walk in or anything. Mm -hmm. So we were praying, and then, yeah, and then after he was saying the amen, I look at my ring. Wow, I amen. And I'm ready to go back home. Wow. So that I was flying home mm -hmm. to prepare for his coming to pick me. We do the introduction. In I try to mimic this one here. Ratio? Yes, the, wow. the first one. Mm. Yes. Introduction. For coming to the, the, the one you just go and say, uh, I am so and so. Yes. Uh, that's all. And, uh, and I'm told that our time is up. Mm -hmm. But we are going to pick it from there. Uh -huh. okay. The issue of dowry, now planning the wedding, and how life has been okay. since you got married. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So we are picking it from there. Okay. Wow. What a story. <laughs> amazing, amazing love story and i am hosting the omulamas omulamas yes omulamas and i mean there's no way we can leave this story hanging and so next friday we are doing the episode two we'll continue with the story from where we have stopped thank you very much for tuning in tonight at santeni sana and if you have not booked your seat for the couples will retreat kindly do so there's a number running down there on your screen kindly pay through that number we are going to naivasha for a couple's hang out yes there will be a lot of bonding you will bond with your spouse and also be having a lot of fun fellowship and food so you can't miss out on this one we are going to lake oloiden and the theme of the day is unlocking the hidden Love. And we are saying love wins. Usibaki nyuma. Many people have registered. Usiacho nyuma na wewe. So this is Couples Will Show. And this is where we write down our love with. when we are alive. For we don't want our love story to be read. When we are six feet under. Or our love story to be read when we are gone. And that is why the Omulamas had to come and sign they are lovely. Yes, this is Wema TV. We are the voice of hope. And my name is Willy Kinyash. I'm a doctor love and out there they call me the undisputed. And for now it is a good night. God bless you. God bless you, Mary. God bless your relationship. See you on Friday at 9.45 p.m. Go ahead and